Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what exactly is the definition of an ellipse? And um, when we're looking at an ellipse, um, a lot of times, you know, currently, sometimes people, you know, think of like a circle and like an oval, right? Well, basically, when we're looking at an ellipse, um, which is kind of correct, so let's kind of think about like an oval. Now, again, just like when we look at a circle, right, and the definition of a circle was a infinite set of points that are equidistant to the center, OK? Now, when we're looking at, um, when we're looking at the definition of an ellipse, that is very similar to the one of a circle, but it gets a, a little bit more specific and it allows us to go to. Obviously, we know that each and every point is not equidistant to the center, right? However, there are two points, which we call our foci. All right, and the the sum of the distance to each point. Let's call this point x1, y1, and let's call this point x2, y2. Well, the sum of the distance from a point to both foci is going to be equal for every single point. I actually call this d1, d2, and then we'll have here, and we'll call that d3, d4. So basically, the definition of ellipse, what it says is for any point on the ellipse, it doesn't matter where the, where the point is. The sum of the two distances from your point to the two foci, which we'll learn you know, how to determine, is always going to be equivalent. So therefore, for any point, d1 plus d2 is going to be equal to d3, d4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your basic definition for your ellipse. And that also works as a circle um, as well, but we can get more specific for a circle. Thanks.